All right, big thing we talked about tonight is when you tap, you're going to pull off by hooking your finger in at a 45 degree angle to the string. So basically like you're doing finger style playing and pulling off in towards your hand, just like you do with the uh, left hand. So basically just working down in a tonic scale there. And I have this part of my hand resting on the lower pitch strings, so this way they're muted. And then just got eventually you, you can't have the hand on the strings, so it really is a bit of arm adjusting in order to get the hand in the correct position for this stuff. One thing some people will try and do is like rotate the wrist this way. Don't want to do that. You basically keep your hand and your wrist in the same position the whole time. Use your arm to put the finger in the new place. All right, 60 beats per minute, so four, number one. One, two, three, four. And I believe you had your pick in your hand the whole time uh, this evening, which is good. That's what you want to do. So just in case you thought about not practicing while holding the pick, let's not do that right now. Keep holding the pick while you play. It's going to be good for more advanced stuff later on. So it's a good habit to finger tap while holding the pick like you normally would. 120. One, two, three, four. And one fifty. One, two, one, two, three, four. Number two. A bit more complicated. Six feet per minute. One, two, three, four. Ninety. 
One, two, three, four. One, twenty, one, two, three, four. Yeah, let's do it again. One, two, three, four. One fifty. One, two, one, two, three, four. Okay, if any questions come up, let me know, and I'll see you again next week.